In this video, we're going to look at using an op amp to light an LED when there is noise, as you can tell. When I uh, speak up, the LED gets brighter. So now here is the circuit. We have the uh, LED here, and we have a diode in series with it. We need to drop a certain amount of voltage for this to work properly. So with the bright LED, which blocks somewhere around uh, 3 volts, I need to block about 0.6 volts more or else the green LED just kind of stays lit for the most part. It gets brighter but stays pretty well lit unless I have that extra voltage drop. But in any case, we're using a single supply LM358 so we can put 5 volts across it, just a single supply. So that's ground, our zero volt reference point, the negative rail for a single supply. And so when the LED is lit, that means current's flowing like that. The uh, output goes down to uh, ground, but it does not go up to the uh, 5 volt supply right there. So that's why I got the 5 volts there. And then going to uh, ground instead of trying to uh, output a high signal and then go to ground because it doesn't have as much voltage that way. So now we set the voltage to the non inverting input. When we have this negative feedback, so the output, some of the voltage gets to the inverting input here. It does that feedback to try to hold the voltage here the same as what we set right there. So our signal is going to try to change that and then the output's going to fight that change. It raises or lowers as need be and Ultimately, that gives us a path to ground about half of the time. So, in any case, microphone, we also have the voltage divider there. We're going through a capacitor though, so it will uh, level off at uh, some point. But in any case, we got about half of the supply voltage pushing there. But then the microphone sometimes will conduct better, sometimes not as well. So, that will shuffle current there and just a tiny bit though and kind of alter the voltage there, the output's going to uh, fight that with the negative feedback. Trying to hold it, the uh, inverting input, to the same voltage right there, 2.5 volts. So now, of course, we have to uh, power the integrated circuit. Pin number 8 there goes to the positive rail, pin number 4 to the negative rail, and uh, that white jumper is the inverting input. The uh, negative symbol right there. We'll get to that, but I grabbed the uh, LM358 here out of this kit so you can see the top right pin, pin number 8 VCC and then pin number 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 is ground. So you can see right above ground is the non-inverting input then the inverting input and then the output. The pins though on the schematic are swapped. You can see that we have the uh, inverting input below the non-inverting input so we have to pay close attention to that that they're swapped. So you always got to pay attention to the symbols there. So now, we will uh, first we'll do the output right there. So that is a protective resistor LED. We're not dealing with much voltage. We got five volts. The uh, green LED is going to block close to three volts. That diode is going to block about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. They're in series. So that's the vast majority of the supply voltage. But that's what I need to do to get the LED off uh, completely. So, we'll uh, kind of shuffle this there. So again, the output is the top pin right there. So I'm going to grab this uh, LED and I'm right above. So the output's there. I'm right above the output for uh, both of those pins right there. Now we're going to grab the uh, diode. So we have to make sure that the cathode here, the gray stripe, is directly to the output right there. Anode up there because we're going to come from the positive rail. And uh, then we got the LED here. Again, the anode is above the uh, cathode. So long lead up one row, short lead down one row, connecting to the uh, diode there. Now we will grab a 100 ohm resistor and uh, 
we're nowhere even near the uh, power limits of this resistor here or the current limit of the LED so there we got the uh, resistor to the positive rail comes to the anode cathode to anode and then cathode to the output of the LM358 as you can see there so now we'll add the uh, feedback resistor so this is a high value resistor 1 million ohms right there and so that one is uh, it's right here I can see the uh, yellow stripe to indicate that it's in the millions of ohms right there so that is going I still got the uh, 5 volt power supply on that's going to the inverting input right there from the output to the inverting input so hopefully you could see all that now we will wire up our non inverting input so again the voltage at the output changes when you got negative feedback to try to make the inverting input the same voltage as the non inverting input so it sets the uh, voltage that uh, you're interested in for the most part so remember we got the inverting input above the non inverting input even though on the schematic it is the opposite so when we wire up the uh, I'm going to put the uh, negative right there so now we got the low voltage there a low output because it has to go low to try to pull the uh, voltage down and it may be oscillating too so we're going to make our voltage divider the equal value resistors 10,000 ohms and uh, right now we got two and a half volts at the non-inverting input so now we got to go up one row I already have a jumper going to the capacitor right there so that helps transfer uh, voltage without letting a lot of current uh, flow through so now we're gonna grab the uh, other 10 kilo ohm resistor right there and what I'm gonna do so we already got the capacitor we're gonna make another voltage divider right there where the uh, capacitor comes and that'll also be the point where the uh, microphone connects so again we're just making a, a voltage divider I should do this one first to the uh, positive rail so it goes to the capacitor positive rail and then we grab this one it's gonna go around that one so I just can't let the two wires touch up there or that'll be a short circuit for the power supply so if I want to be extra safe I could go there or I could even go to uh, that side of the jumper there so now we got the uh, condenser microphone and there you can see little wires there come into the body so you put that to ground the zero volt reference point and then so that's the uh, positive side so of all the condenser uh, microphones I looked at pictures and stuff they seem to have some connection to the uh, body here for the uh, the negative side and uh, so that's going to the capacitor and then to the jumper right there and the LED is flashing as we make noise so I didn't turn the uh, power off but there you can see the microphone it's uh, basically parallel to uh, this resistor but I just used the uh, ground symbols there so again I got uh, power supply is already on and it has 5 volts right there so that's really it now I had the oscilloscope earlier and so I'll bring that back and show how I wire that up so so we got that there it's off now I clip the alligator clips that come out of the uh, oscilloscope cable here I just clip jumpers to them so we got the black one we can connect it anywhere to ground and so I'm just gonna plug that to a rail actually we should go up it doesn't like being bent that way there we go we'll go up so we can connect that anywhere to the negative rail doesn't matter there we go the signal that we're going to measure 
that's the red uh, jumper right here with the alligator clip so I'm going to plug that in there just into a row and now I go to where the output is right there top pin and all I have to do is turn this on I already have the setting set so it just got to takes a little bit to start up but not too bad right there and now we can see the uh, voltage of the output right there bouncing around so pretty straightforward we can change uh, don't need to change the uh, the voltage there if we wanted to we just press that button once and then it changes the voltage we can uh, change the speed right there so now it's one second per square and then each square is half of a second so it's going twice as fast and we can keep uh, going like that and look at it longer but uh, it's not very fast at uh, those settings at uh, updating the screen but there you can see it going across now it is clipping but uh, for this video I just wanted to do light and LED like that and uh, green LED works pretty good as I said before I had to have the uh, extra diode right here or else it's just basically on all the time when I tried uh, red LEDs I actually needed two red LEDs because they don't block as much voltage as these uh, bright green ones so I used uh, two red LEDs instead of an LED and a diode but uh, they weren't uh, very bright so you may have to be uh, picky about what LEDs you use if you want to uh, build this circuit so there it is and I'm gonna post some other videos make sure you check those out uh, click like subscribe the bell and uh, whatnot I will see you in the next video